said, mm -hmm. uh, I think other people who've come here who've been going for therapy and stuff, I'd want to know, like, of course, this therapy, I don't think it's cheap. Mm -hmm. How much are therapy sessions in general? Yeah. Because there was a client here who said, uh, no, not a client. He listened to me mixing my words now. <laughs> you I, become a therapist Imagine now. <laughs> now there's a guest yeah. that I had here and it opened up like a really big uh, conversation mm -hmm. who uh, pays 15000 mm -hmm. per session for therapy. Wow. Mm -hmm. And she has two therapy sessions mm -hmm. in a month. Mm -hmm. So that's 30. And then there are some people who are like, you know, I pay five. Some mm -hmm. say they pay how much? I can't remember all the numbers, but yeah. in general, mm -hmm. I know it's expensive. Yeah. But what, what's the rough numbers? Mm -hmm. Like when people are coming, like, you know, just to see you mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. or if you want to say your price, mm -hmm. yes, you can say. If you don't want to say, you can yeah. say like, hey, call me. Yeah. Can and tell me. But what roughly are we always talking about? Because me therapy, you know, it's, yeah. it's expensive. So like for me, I'm not that expensive, again, because I, I work with children and teenagers. And also I am working with the general public. I like to say that because um, I want everyone to be able to access these services. And so for me, from 2000 and going up, but um, mostly 2000, 2500, 3000 and 3500. Uh -huh. So depending on the, like if it's a teenager and I have to have a session with a parent, of course, I'll add that onto the session. If it's a session where you're going outdoor and you have to do some activities, I also add the price there. Yeah. So basically, depending on the service I give you, of course, then it will go up. Because the good thing with also paying more is that you're going to get more in terms of maybe the ambience. You're going to get a room that's very well invested in. You're going to mm. get, probably they're going to make sure you do all the tests. And so... Even for me, as I give you the 2,500, remember there are things that I will not give or there are things I will not do. And if I ever increase this, something I am adding onto the amount of money. It's just not um, money just like that. So even the client who is paying 15,000, there is value for that 15,000. Uh, hey, people in the comments, like just everyone was just like, no way, yeah, I'm not paying. I'm yeah. not paying. Everyone was like, no, 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 no. And sometimes you realize it's the same thing. Yeah that you could get. Um, also, therapy is very personal. So <laughs> you have to like the person. Like I was even telling uh, my mom, therapy is very, very subjective because my client has to like me. Yeah. My, me and my client have to like each other for us to do a good job. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, even choosing, maybe that lady is paying 15,000 because she found no one else who she could tolerate to True. talk out, to talk to. So True. you're looking for someone who is with you, who you're on the same wavelength. And it's, it's it's that much harder. It's not like a doctor. You can mm. choose any doctor. You can choose any um, any who. It's any, more personal. Yeah, yeah, any media person. Yeah. Like therapy, you have to look at this person and be like, can I stand this person or can I open up to this person? And so, especially the trust part now opening up. Yes. Yeah, so true. that's why um, some people pay a lot. But mm. yeah, I try and make it affordable just so that um, people who need it, because I just want to make sure I make an impact. Mm. The money is now the bonus. Yeah. So yeah, I make sure it's accessible. And what's like your general approach when, because you're talking about like there's some things that include activities and yeah. stuff, but what's your general approach, whether it's uh, the teens mm -hmm. or nights like with women, what's your general approach? Is it just talking or there are some other things that you include in the therapy? So for children and teenagers, I try and include in, in sessions like in office sessions, but I also try and include activities where we can go outside, if it's doing art, if it's doing like hiking. But for the women, most of them, they prefer to talk because women like to talk and not just because they like to talk, but they're going through a lot. Yeah. So I do the in sessions, but one thing I am very big on and I think my clients would agree is that I make sure I... You're the one who's coming up with what I'm saying. So, like, I won't say you have to do this. No, I'm going to ask you questions that are going to help you think, reflect, and come up with a solution. So my job is to help you find those solutions that are inside of you. I'm a very, um, I don't know, should I say fun? Mm -hmm. Let me say fun. Yeah. I am a fun person to have the conversation with or have the therapy with because I'll make sure it's all you, it's not me. Yeah. yeah. Even when I talk about myself, it's once or twice after maybe three sessions. And it's just to give you like some backing on what you want you to do. You understand that I, I can relate kind of to yeah, what just, you're going yeah. through or something. Yeah. So I, I try to really give the client the top. 
you know, like make them, making them know that they are the boss. They are the ones who have all the solutions. I'm just here to spark, 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 spark. So, mm. Yeah, I'm the spark that yeah, sparks the other people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so no, I think we've just touched on quite a lot. And let me just honestly say I'm very grateful for you passing to the podcast and even just reaching out. Yeah. Because, you know, like a lot of people are going through so much right now. Mm-hmm. And just if somebody sees the episode and they can see like, okay, I can actually reach out, call to yeah. call someone and actually talk to. Yeah. They are readily available because most people actually just need to talk. Oh, yeah. And after that, they are good. They are good. Yeah. They were just having a lot. And you saw sometimes you talk, sometimes yeah. clients talk and then they're like, oh, yeah, now I have the solution. So like a client who has come for five, six sessions, one day they'll talk and they'll be like, oh, yeah. I've actually sorted myself out. So yeah. through well, talking. Yeah. Through talking. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. So for people who don't believe in therapy, <laughs> you know, actually just, you know, if something if you're going through something that's dark and also at times like maybe the two five of or the three, three, five, that's equivalent to maybe a bottle. Someone be like, I see that's I can just buy like a I can <laughs> buy liquor. <laughs> uh, and and when a therapy session is just something that can fix you in many different ways. So, yeah. of course, definitely. I'm, I'm also, I haven't done any therapy, but yeah. I'm advocating for people who it helps. Yeah. Because who knows, maybe in future I might be going through something. And yeah. that, uh, now with better understanding of how it's changing people, yeah. helping people, now it will make more sense when I'm, even there, I'm keeping yeah. an open mind to actually learning and growing. For sure, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. do you have any, like, you know, just parting shot or message to people who, like, you know, uh, second guessing about therapy mm-hmm. or are curious to know more about therapy mm-hmm. or anything that you can just give the, the listeners or people who are watching. Uh, so maybe the first thing I'd say, people think therapy is where you get advice or you get to be fixed, as you have said. It's not, I'm not fixing you. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just uh, reintroducing yourself to yourself. So I will just help you make yourself a better person. I will not make you a better person, but I'll help you become a better person. And um, the other thing maybe is just to say that there's no one right way of doing anything. So, yeah, ca- therapy is not like a straight line. Don't come here thinking if you're an engineer, a doctor, you know those people and lawyers, mm. they're always having this one straight line. No, therapy is that one place where things go back and forth. But there's no one right way of doing life. And whatever you're doing in your life, never feel judged Therapy is a non-judgmental space, a safe space where you can come and just be yourself. So, yeah, whatever you're going through, there's no one right way of doing life. There's, yeah, like no one is a devil. No one is someone who's absolutely wrong. No, we are doing what we can to survive. So, yeah, welcome to therapy. And even if it's not me, find someone who you relate to and you feel their vibe matches yours. Well said. Well said. (laughs) So tell people where they can find you. Yeah. And if there's anything else that you have going on you'd want to just plug on the podcast, mm-hmm. please feel free so yeah. that people can know. Okay, um, you can find me on um, Ivana Therapeutics and Therapeutics without the E. I did that because I don't want it to have the medical vibe to it. So it's Therapeutics with the U only. So Ivana Therapeutics at gmail.com. And um, I also have gratitude jars that I sell. This is just to help people have a preventative tool because mental health is not only doing therapy. It's also coming up with tools you can use to prevent mental health challenges or tools you can do to have positive mental health. So I have gratitude jars and I also have wellness journals that help people. They have daily prompts for every day and you can fill that in. And that's also, it's kind of therapy if you don't feel like talking to someone and you just want to do a journal. Yeah, so that is there for you. So if you reach out, um, I'm sure you can get that and you can buy from us. So welcome. Nice. Yeah. Uh, social media platforms where people can find you? Uh, yeah, Ivana Waweru, I-V-A-N-N-A Waweru on Instagram, on uh, TikTok, on Facebook. And um, which other social media platform is there? Not on Twitter. Oh, TikTok. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube or uh, something you've thought about? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just that um, you see, like the way you you're doing this amazing thing. Yeah. I think for me, if the quality is not as good as ah, Kiss no, Cafe, no, no, then no, no, I am no. not doing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you can just start with what's there, because I think the, the message is more important, and yeah. you just never know. It will open doors, things that you 
that I could now you'll yeah. be shocked because yeah. you start doing like an episode or two even if your quality is not that good yeah if sponsors come in yeah, yeah, yeah. people are a lot of people are supporting like anything to do with mental yeah. health nowadays mm. somebody will just see like your episode and they're like you know what would want to partner with you yeah I've revamped like your production and everything mm-hmm. and trust me you'll be shocked okay yeah Thank you. Thank yeah, you for the motivation. Don't, don't, don't underestimate what like, you know, <laughs> social media can do for you because for me it's That's done true. everything that it's done for me. Yeah. By just posting content mm-hmm. and putting stuff out there, you'll connect with different people. Yeah. And you just never know. That's true. Thank mm. you for the motivation. I've thought of doing it and I really need to, so mm. I will consider doing it. So, so yeah, makes it's it's only fair that you do because like yeah.